Hello, my dear student of class six. This is your mathematics class, and this is the part four of exercise number three point three. Now, today I will discuss about the problem two. The problems are form two A, B, C, E, F, and J, and you should write C, D, G, and H. So, third set number two. Using divisibility test, determine which of the following numbers. Following which these numbers are divisible by four and divisible by eight. So, at first number eight, here given the number is five seventy two. Five hundred seventy two. Now, it says whether this number is divisible by four or not. Now. The rules of divisibility by four is a number is divisible by four when the last two digits, that means this seventy-two, these digits are divisible by four. So here seventy-two. So four eighteens are seventy-two. Four into eighteen, this is seventy-two. So this number is divisible by four. So Seventy-two is divisible by four. Therefore, the whole digit that means five hundred seventy-two. This is also divisible by four. So, this number is divisible by four. Now, it says whether this number is divisible by eight. Five seventy two is divisible by four. Now we check whether this number is divisible by eight or not. So a number three or more digit is divisible by eight if the last three digits, that means this, here this number is in three digits. So this digit is divisible by eight or no? So we divide it by eight. Now we get eight divided by five seventy two. So we get eight sevens are five fifty six, and eight ones are eight. So remainder is four. That means this number is not divisible by eight. So five seventy two is not divisible by eight. In the same way, we check from number B. So number A, this is divisible by four, but not divisible by eight. So next number B, and the number is seven two six three five two. This is a six digit number. So we check for last two digit. Is divisible by four or not? I know that the thirteenth table four thirteens are fifty-two. That means fifty-two is a multiple of four. So this is divisible by four. So this last two digit is divisible by four. So the whole number is divisible by four. So seven two. Six three five two is divisible by four. Now we check whether this number is divisible by eight or not. So for eight, we check the last three digit. That means three fifty two. Now we divide it three fifty two by eight. So 352 is divisible by 8. So 
the whole number is divisible by 8. So this is divisible by 4 and by 8. Next number C. This is R. D, G, H, and I. Next number C. I given this number is five five double zero. Now. Is zeros. So, whether zero is divisible by four or eight, now zero is divisible by any number. Because if we divide zero by four, then we get zero. That means four into zero. This is zero. So, zero is divisible by all numbers. So, this is divisible by four, and also this is divisible by This is divisible by 4. Now we check for A. So, you take last 3 digits number and divide it with by 8. Then you get 400 is 4 that means 500 is not divisible by 8 so the whole number that means 500 5500 this is not divisible by 8 so this is divisible by 4 but not divisible by 8 now next number E divisible by 4 but not divisible by 8. And number B, this is also divisible by 4 and 8 and this is divisible by 4 but not 8. Now next number E, 1, 2, 1, 5, 9. Now for 4, we take last 2 digits at 59. I know that 59 is not a multiple of 4 because there is the one space this is 9 and this is not a multiple of 4. So 59 is not divisible by 4. So 1, 2, 1, 5, 9 is not divisible by 4. Also check it divided it by four. Now next for a we have last three digits and it's one fifty nine. Now if we divide it by a, I get the remainder is seven. That means one fifty nine is not divisible by a. So the whole number is not divisible by a. So this is not divisible by four. And also by A. Now we will check next number A. Hey, given 1, 4, 5, 6, 0. So for 4, we take last 2 digits. Now we know that 4 into 15 is equal to 60. That means 60 is a multiple of 4. So, 60 is divisible by 4 and this the whole number is divisible by 4. So, 1, 4, 5, 6, 0 is divisible by 4. Now, check for 8. So, for 8, we take last 3 digits number. And check whether this number is divisible by 8 or not. So, 5, 6, 0. 
If we divide it by 4, then we get 70. So, this is divisible by 8. So, the whole number is divisible by 8. So, this is divisible by 4 and also by 8. Now, next is J, number J. Now, J for last two digits, this is divisible by 4 or not? Now, J, and this is remainder. So, 50 is not divisible by 4 because 50 is not a multiple of 4. So, this number is not divisible by 4. So, 2150 is not. I say for 8. So for 8, take this number 150. Now for 150, the remainder is 6. So 150 is also not divisible by 8. So, 2150 is not divisible by 4 and by 8. So, this is today's work. Now, we should try this I, D, G and H in this same process.